What about an atheist or what about an agnostic? We need to be careful and we need to be compassionate. And especially in the case of an agnostic, because an agnostic is a seeker. All of us are seeking God, I believe. And an agnostic is on that path and is seeking, and we may be that bridge that brings them to our faith. And it is that compassion that we have to offer them, that olive branch, if I could say, that says, here, come learn about what our faith is and who our faith is and bring them on that journey. That journey may not end in our church, that journey may not end in church, but at least we have the compassion to start that journey and that we are as open-minded as they are, meaning that we're reaching out to them as much as they want to reach out to us and, and find out who it is that we are and what is it truly that we believe. We also have to understand too that that may in the end not be the partner for us. And we just may have to agree to part ways. They may want to close that door on us, or we may decide that we may want to close the door on that relationship. So again, not all relationships work out. And we have to be very, very careful, as I said before, that we don't behave like martyrs in that we feel that we are responsible to save the entire world. That is why we have the monastics. But for us, we some relationships will work out and some relationships will not work out. And, and there's, uh, there's nothing wrong with either, with either of those. We act in compassion, but it may end up that, that we just have to move on from that relationship because it's not to our mutual benefits.